Hi, I'm Matthew Bates with Pratt & Whitney Military Engines Communications. We've heard from a lot of pilots today talking about the F-35 and what it's going to bring to the fight. We're getting ready to hear from General Hawk Carlisle, the Commander of Air Combat Command for the United States Air Force. Let's listen to what he has to say. Where we're at with respect to the, uh, to, to the future of the F-35, it is doing spectacular. It is ahead of where the F-22 was at the same point in its, uh, in its bringing into the force and becoming operational. So it's actually it's not often talked about in the media, but it's actually doing exceptionally well and it's ahead of where many programs are, uh, other programs that have been in the same status. So it is doing ex exceedingly well. I personally believe that uh, we're going to be able to declare IOC w at the leading edge of that window. I, I believe that. So as we look at things and we'll get closer, and again, I'll talk to Secretary James and General Goldfein, but I, I really believe based on everything I know today and how this deployment went, I believe it'll be the front end of that window of August to December. So the, the whole purpose of IOC, when I, when I declare initial operational capability, that means that if a combatant commander said, hey, I need F-35s here, I could deploy them. And I would. I would in a heartbeat. That's why I would declare initial operational capability. So if in UCOM, PACOM, CENTCOM, uh, the decision was made that we needed that capability in those, scenario, in those theaters, then I would deploy them. We have a plan that would get them to a deployed uh, rotational capability, you know, in a period of time, um, but if we had to, move, if we had to send them right away, we could. So, um, will they be in the Middle East? Yeah. That's about it for day one here at Riyadh, the Royal International Air Tattoo. As you can see, the flight line is starting to fill up. It was a little bit loud today. It's going to be a lot louder tomorrow. There'll be Pratt and Whitney powered engines. The F-22, the F-35 are going to do a heritage flight. So follow us on our social media channels. There will be a lot more. Uh, and we're looking forward to seeing you, so tune in. Thanks.